What's up guys? My name is Kevin Palmer, owner of One Chair. Today I'm here to share with you our One Chair heel wheels and show you how to adjust them, how to use them. So when you get them out of the box, what you're going to get is two heel wheels that are fully adjusted to their skinniest position. Also in the box, you'll have an Allen wrench to adjust it all. I believe it's four millimeter if you lose it, but don't quote me on that. And a bag to carry it all in, just a little sack. So to make this work, I'm gonna go ahead and pop my shoe off real quick. And what you wanna do is loosen the two top bolts. And while you're doing that, go ahead and look at the bottom and make sure that you don't pull them all the way out. You can, it's just, it makes it a lot harder to get them back in. Once they're loose, kind of twist it as you pull in or out and you'll be able to get that adjustability. That adjustability is what you're looking for in order to make it fit your specific shoe. Now I wear a size 12 and a half and I have no problem with any of my shoes, but if you wear anything bigger than that, you might wanna, you might have to use specifically a skate shoe just because they're a little bit skinnier at the heel than like running shoes or hiking shoes. Um, if you're thinking of going off road a lot, I highly suggest considering something with some ankle support uh, just to help reduce the risk of breaking your ankle if you were to catch a foot on road. I don't think that's a very likely condition. So anyways, now I've got these tightened up and I've got them nice and snugged up. And I'm gonna pull the shoe out and snug these up. And the first time around, I'm not gonna tighten these all the way. I'm just gonna snug them to where it can't slide anymore and then I'll go ahead and test. Because sometimes when you pull the shoe out, you actually widen it back out. This is actually, and I just did it. What you want is ideally, it doesn't need the strap to stay on the shoe. There we go. And that's what we're looking for, where it will just stay on the shoe of its own accord. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go one click tighter just to be safe on this. And so I'll go that one click and then I'm gonna tighten these nice and snug. You don't want these falling off on you mid-ride. So make sure that you end up with both a snug fit to your shoe and snug bolts. Once you have both the snug fit to your shoe and your snug bolts, the next thing to adjust is the strap. And so in order to do the strap, it really needs to be on your foot. So we toss the shoe back on. Now, as you can see, I've got big enough feet that I really don't need to do much adjustment on these straps. If you do, it's this guy right here on the inside. Pretty easy, simple strap adjustment. So just like that, you get them strapped on to both sides and I'll show you how we go ahead and use them on the chair. All right, so now we are all mounted up. I'm gonna show you guys how we use it. So when you're going slow, you basically just point your toes. Um, one thing about your feet, try and keep them wider than your board if you can, so you don't run up, end up running over your feet with your one wheel. And so slow turning is just pointing your toes. Acceleration control, it's mostly in your knees. If you wanna go fast, you straighten your legs. If you wanna stop, you bend your knees. If you wanna go backwards, it gets a little sketchy, but same thing, just keep bending your knees. Always make sure that you have that speed control before you go riding off. Um, if you don't have the right chair and you're too high, you won't have brakes and it gets a little sketchy. So make sure that you have the ability to reverse by lifting your knees like that. So now it's just a matter of skating. When you're at low speeds, it's super simple. And when you start to uh, speed up, you just start to carve. And that's about it. That's all there really is to it. So slow speeds, point your toes, high speeds, push down on your outside foot. And the greatest thing about it, even if you try to nose dive, you just kind of ride out of it. So that's my favorite thing about it right there is just the safety factor. If I just did that while I was standing on a one wheel, I'd be sitting on the ground right here. Roxy, what do you think? You want to go for a ride? Come on, let's go. Let's load up. Load up. Let's go. All right. Well, I like this video please subscribe if you haven't we have a lot more cool products on the way a lot of new releases a lot more content and videos of how to's it's going to be a blast don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you next time this is kevin palmer for one chair let's go girl <laughs>